strong voices on Capitol Hill. New Jersey Democratic Senator Robert Menendez, member of the Senate Foreign Affairs Committee, joins me this morning. Senator, a pleasure to see you. Let's start with the deal itself. What are your reaction to it? Well, Jose, we're going to have to see the entirety of the deal and go through all the specifics because this is one moment in which the details make an enormous amount of consequence in terms of how they're written. But let's realize what the deal is and is not, uh, even in its framework. Uh, the deal ultimately uh, legitimizes Iran as a threshold nuclear state. Uh, the deal doesn't end Iran's nuclear program. It preserves it. Uh, from what I've read so far, the deal doesn't provide for the anytime, any place inspections that we wanted of suspected sites. Uh, the deal has a commission that ultimately will decide whether a violation can be pursued, and the clock on that a potential violation, especially if it's access to any uh, to sites that we suspect, uh, when there is a dispute with Iran, would take when you add up all the different elements, uh, 24 days, nearly a month. So those are just elements that have come out that are worrisome, but we'll have to look at the totality of the agreement and see, as Tom Friedman of the New York Times said about a week ago, is this the best bad deal that can be achieved? And Senator Ali Arouzi, our bureau chief in Tehran, said that really what this deal does is it keeps the Iranian nuclear program virtually intact. But add to that, that as far as we're seeing this morning, and again, you and I are on the same page. We have to look through all the details of this 100-plus page agreement. But we're talking about the U.N. maybe lifting its ban on conventional weapons in the next five years. Ballistic missiles will end as far as the uh, sanctions uh, eight years or sooner, and then possibly billions of dollars going to the Iranian regime as a consequence of this. Isn't that, though, worth the price of paying if indeed Iran does not get nuclear weapons? Well, first of all, uh, it's amazing to me that we uh, included the arms embargo and the missile uh, technology question as part of this deal. Uh, the reality is is that there's a reason why Iran wants that. It wants to be able to continue to deploy its terrorism throughout the region as it is presently doing, even in desperate economic straits. Uh, I worry about intercontinental ballistic missiles uh, and their ability to produce it. They've been refining their Shahab missiles, uh, among others, to be able to do that. Uh, and when they get 100 to $150 billion, yes, most of it will probably be spent in Iran, but if you just take 10 percent of that money uh, for their terrorism efforts, we have a real challenge in what will happen in the greater Middle East as a result of Iran having that type of money. So the question is, this does not guarantee that Iran will not achieve a nuclear weapon in the future. Uh, and I wish that when the president came out today, one of the things that he would have said that would have assuaged me a little bit uh, would have been, but under no circumstances will the United States permit Iran to achieve a nuclear weapon. Uh, he didn't say that. And the reality is, is that a decade from now, when many of the elements of uh, this program are over, uh, Iran is going to be able to move forward. It has a significant part of its infrastructure uh, in place. It can reassemble that which it has stored, and uh, off we go. And the question is, if you're going to have to face an Iran that is determined to achieve nuclear weapons, do you want to face them when they are at their weakest point, both economically and otherwise and their defense mechanisms or do you want to face them when they are at their strongest point when their economy has revived when they have flush with money when they've bought the s-300 from russia that is a, a defense missile system that will make it more harder should they break out uh, these are the questions that we'll have to look at in the senate foreign relations committee senator bob and from new jersey thank you very much for being with me this morning appreciate your time thank you good to be here